Spreadsheet Web offers the end user a whole arsenal of tools that can be used to develop a huge range of applications. Through the course of these videos so far, we have seen Spreadsheet Web develop everything from insurance rating tools to workout schedules, customer satisfaction surveys to extensive and interactive charts and maps. Today we will focus on another example that breaches a separate career branch, Property Inspection. Here you can see a Property Inspection form. There are a variety of inputs beginning with the organizational ranges including the name of the mortgager and product types, as well as the actual inspection information, which spans the entire lower portion of the document. Now this Excel file can be found for free at www.spreadsheetzone.com. Once downloaded, it can be modified to fit directly to your needs prior to conversion. This can be done with any spreadsheet downloaded from SpreadsheetZone.com. Now we'll head back to the spreadsheet, and we can begin with the conversion by opening up the Spreadsheet Web Ribbon, and launching the wizard. From here we can breeze through the conversion because I have already pre-created the settings prior to this video. Once the conversion is completed, we press finish and make sure that we save the file. And then we can head over to the Spreadsheet Web Control Panel to upload the application. From here we log in and add a web application. We can give it a name and then browser directories for the Excel file and then choose a group. Once we are done, we press save, and it will be uploaded and added to the applications list. Once it is done, we can open up the application from the list, and we find that the spreadsheet has been converted into a web application and made live. From here, all the same inputs are available to be changed and saved. Now let me create a record that we can save. This record will be found under the name John Smith, and then we can save it and once the record has been submitted we will receive this notification. Now change the name of the mortgager and submit a second record just so we have two in the database. Now we can head back to the data tab in the control panel and select our property inspection form from the combo box and here we will find all the saved records. From here, we can create statuses by pressing the Options button and entering custom status settings and coordinating colors. And then we can change the status of each individual record by selecting the status from the Data tab and changing the value in the combo box. Once it is saved, the records will automatically be updated. Now, if we open up the record, we can see all the saved information that coordinates with the record name. Using this, all of the information can be individually updated or reviewed. However, once a large amount of records has been submitted, manually checking each and every individual record can take a large period of time. However, Spreadsheet Web gives you the ability to download a select amount of records ranging from one to all of them in a simple Excel spreadsheet. Simply select all the records you would like to view, press Download Selected Records, and save the Excel file. Once it is done downloading, we can open up the file in Excel. We will find that all the records have been saved, with the corresponding input cells laid out along the right hand side. From here, we can view all saved records immediately without having to manually sort through each and every individual record. This has been a demonstration on how to create a property inspection form and record database using Spreadsheet Web. For more videos outlining specific functions and features of Spreadsheet Web, please make sure to check out our YouTube channel.